Hi, I'm Ghazal Thaliwal. I was born and brought up in Punjab. Most of my like childhood and teenage was in Patiala. The only sort of recreation that we did like as a family was going out to watch movies. My father was also, you know, really crazy about films. In his youth he used to watch like every first day first show of of the movies. He has like he had collection of video cassettes of all the films he loved. Films used to be my only sort of the only way for me to have an out of body experience which was essential for me because i was not in tune with my body since i was like i was gender dysphoric i was born in a boy's body films used to be the one way for me to sort of live vicariously live another life and have these moments of joy and have happy endings and stuff like that I travel on my cycle. Keeps me in touch with surroundings. I'm literally on the road with a lot of other people with like BMWs as well as other cycles and I mean there's this alive energy around me when I'm cycling. did my engineering then i got placed campus placement ho gaya tha infosys mein but you know there was this growing sense of suffocation and that was on both ends in the sense that in my personal life as well as my professional life personal as in like i told you i was gender dysphoric so at the age of 18 when i first discovered internet i think one of the first few things i research i googled was sex change and so then i i found out that oh there is something like that and there are women across the world especially that time in the us who had written blogs about their journeys and stuff that time i had told myself okay so it's possible so my dream is not this you know fantasy and impossible dream and it's achievable but it was extremely hard obviously there was i had no way to know how to do it it was going to be expensive so that dream slowly was dying and there was suffocation professionally because i felt like i was suppressing killing my creativity i would just go to office i was used to be the first to go and the last to leave because i i just wanted to shut the whole world out and i thought i would just work i just told myself that both my dreams are going to die so fine given that my that personal life wala dream i cannot fulfill probably never but at least i should work towards my professional dream and uh, i sort of gathered the courage and i spoke to my father on the phone my father is a champion so he was like ha karo go for it i'll support you so i got into zavier's institute of communications where i did a 10 month diploma course in filmmaking through that filmmaking course then i made a documentary film actually about transgender people and sex reassignment as luck would have it this fulfilling my professional dream sort of became instrumental in my personal dream getting fulfilled because after that documentary i also got the courage that okay theek hai i can do it i was able to also able to like convince my parents after they saw the film so everything sort of came together and fell into place In 2009 is when I finally came back to Bombay properly, and I started the quote and quote struggle in Bollywood, um, Bollywood ki galiyon mein. Not that anybody cared, but uh, I mean, for me, it was like I can show off my pehli picture. Mr. Bachchan is saying my dialogues, so it was uh, it was cool that way. 
The next thing which came was lipstick, lipstick under my burqa. That I was super proud of. I was very proud of lipstick. That's when I think some people took notice that uh, I got appreciation, but I have to tell you the best uh, appreciation was uh, so my father, so he plays tennis with this uh, like group of 15 men in Patiala, they have this tennis association. So it's like, you know, boisterous Punjabi men. Now my father is extremely proud of me and he um, doesn't let go of any opportunity to sort of show off. And so when lipstick came out, my father said that to his buddies that I will Chandigarh you Chandigarh. I'll show you the film there. So he took these like 14, 15 Punjabi men to Chandigarh. He drove them down to watch Lipstick Under My Burqa, which is this out and out feminist film. And it's quite sensational. Uh, like it could shock people, which is why it was not released in small towns. No theatres in small towns picked it up. So then, my father told me that he picture a picture and then there was pin drop silence, no conversation, everything was quiet for half an hour. Then half an hour ke baad, wo table pe jab the table, so this one uncle, after a long silence, he says, I have a picture badi achhi lagi hai. Kya dialogue likhe hai? And that, when my father told me that, I burst out laughing because I was not expecting that reaction at all from and then then my father said other people also then pitched in and they were talking about how the voiceovers were really nice how like the you know acting was really nice so then they were all praising it um, but it was a big deal it was very special and that's what told me that you know a film which is ma well made a film which is made with a with you know with purity of intention reaches out to people Kari Karib single, I have to say, is my like baby. You know, everybody has their favorite child. So Kari Karib single is that for me. I think Tanuja and I uh, worked on the script for about three years before um, Irfan said yes to it. He brought a lot. Parvati was a delight to work with. And Sone Pe Suhaga, the whole team which came together for Kari Karib single. I don't think it's possible for any team to have that kind of camaraderie. The writing was appreciated, the film was appreciated. So then I read the book and uh, I thought there was something very interesting in there and that we could give our own touch to it and it could become something very special. It so happened that Sonam got excited about it and Sonam said that she had, she had been approached, she and Mr. Anil Kapoor had been approached many times to um, work together on projects but they'd never liked anything but she said that this one she read and she told her father that you know if there's one one script one film we should work together on then it's this one so then Anil sir took a narration from Shelley and he was also on board like immediately and then I was thrilled when Rajkumar Rao said yes because I think he's just right for the part and he He's brought something to the character which I had not written. He's brought a certain charm to it. He's brought a certain integrity to it and also humor. He's brought a certain, his own brand of humor to it. It's the most unexpected romance of the year. I really want to work with Karan Johar. Uh, I have been a fan ever since Kut Kut Hota. I've cried on, in pretty much every one of his films. So when somebody can make me cry, I know that, you know, there's something in them which will connect with me. And I've heard he's wonderful to work with, so I, I really want to work with him. I would love to work with Shujit Sarkar. The texture that he brings to his films and the humor he brings, the quality of humor that is there in his films, that's something I aspire to. My, uh, my 2018 ki, you know, the favorite film was Mulk. Anubhav Sinha is somebody I would love to work with. Zoya Akhtar, I would absolutely love to work with her, but I believe she never works with anybody else other than Reema. So that might stay a dream. Mm -hmm.